Hi guys and welcome back. In this video we're going to look at interest and just a brief understanding of well what is interest. So what is interest? Well interest is the additional charges on a loan or the extra payments that you have to make on a loan or a bonus payment on an investment. So if you put an investment, so say I put a certain amount of money into some shares or even into even into your bank account, your savings bank account, after a certain period of time, you might get an extra bit of money in there because you've accumulated interest. So one type of interest we're going to look at is simple interest. Now, simple interest is calculated on the principal amount of a loan only, so just on the principal amount. Now, the principal amount is the amount that you borrowed or was invested. So it's either how much you borrowed from the bank or how much you put into the bank or into shares or into um, any sort of investment you can think of. If it's using simple interest, it's based on the principal amount. So now we're going to calculate the interest. How do we do that? There's a little rule. So our little rule is, or our formula is, interest equals principal times rate times time. So I equals P times R times T. Now principal, we said, is the amount you've invested or the amount you've borrowed. Rate is the percentage you get. So you might get, like it might be a loan with 10% interest. So that's your rate. And your time is the amount of time in years. Okay, so interest, principal, the amount you've borrowed. Interest rate as a decimal, and that's really important, it's as a decimal and the time of the loan or in the investment in years. First, what we're going to do is we're going to write each of the following as a decimal. Now, to write a percentage as a decimal, you divide that percentage by 100. So in this case, we go 15 divided by 100, which means we move the decimal place one, two places to the left, which gives us a decimal of 0 0.15. This one, we're going to divide by 100 again. We move it to the left two places and we end up with 0 0.125. And this one here, again, we're moving two places to the left. One, two, so there's an extra zero there and we get 0 0.07. Let's do an example question when we look at interest. So for an investment, so that's the amount we've put into the account. Um, so for... Sorry, for an investment of 7,500, can't even read, at an interest rate of 7% per annum for six years, the amount of simple interest, so interest equals principal times rate times time, so principal equals 7,500, uh, that's our principal, the amount we put in, the investment times 0 0.07, which is our percentage, our interest, times six years, which is our time. From there, you're going to calculate the value. Oh, sorry, we're going to solve this first. So we, we receive, after six years, $3,150 interest. Now we're going to find the value of the investment after six years. So this is your principal plus your interest. So that gives you 7,500 7, plus 3,150, uh, 3, which gives us $10,650. Now we're going to look at, well, what if they're not given in years? What if they're given in um, months or what if it's half a year? Let's look at that. So sometimes you'll have to convert it from an exact number, uh, sorry, from a decimal into uh, exact numbers. So days, if we've got a certain number of days and we want to look at how many years that is, we divide the number of days by 365. That gives us one year. Weeks to years, years if we've got you know, 60 weeks, we divide that by 52 to get how many years, and it might be 1.27, um, something like that, who knows. Um, months to years, you divide the number of months by 12. Um, you could also look at um, quarterly, which means for three months of the year, um, or biannually, which means you're getting it twice a year, so it might be every six months, if that's what it's saying, um, so you can convert it to yearly. 
So Tony borrows um, $12,000 over 30 months at a 4.5% interest rate. So what is the amount of interest she is charged? So we go 30 divided by 12 first to find out that we have two and a half years. So she borrowed it over two and a half years. We go interest equals principal times rate times time. So that gives us 12,000 times 0 0.045 times 2.5. So she, uh, the interest paid is $1,350.75. Uh, $1, um, what is the total amount she has to repay then? So that's going the principal again plus the interest. So we add these two together and that gives us the total of $13,350. That's the total amount she will, she will re repay at the end of her 30 months. Okay guys, that's it. If you have any questions, make sure you ask. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.